What is happening, y'all? This is Alexander with Guns.com, back at you from our Minnesota warehouse with some more law enforcement trade-in guns. We've got a classic here. We got some Glock 22s, which are 40 caliber, kind of service size Glocks. We're gonna take a little look at these and check out the history on them and see if maybe this is what you're looking for to fit your needs. So let's dig in. Today we're going to take a look at a law enforcement trade-in, Glock 22. The Glock 22 is one of the most popular, one of the most common duty service models of handguns that we see in the United States. Kind of going into a little bit of the history on this, back in 1986, there was a shooting, an FBI shooting in Miami, and the FBI law enforcement kind of realized that they were starting to get outgunned by a lot of the criminals who were carrying semi-automatics while law enforcement was still kind of holding on to the wheel gun, the revolver. So they wanted to up their firepower, do a little bit better job of offering those officers something to protect themselves a little more efficiently. They went into a set of trials, try to find a new handgun. However, they had a pretty stringent uh, like set of qualifications that the caliber had to meet. They wanted it to mimic the performance of the 38 special wide cutter loads that the FBI was using at the time. It was a pretty powerful cartridge and one of the only handguns that kind of met those requirements or hit the ballistic goals that they were kind of leaning into was the Colt Delta Elite in 10 millimeter. This big cartridge that a lot of people use current day for things like bear defense when they're out hunting or hiking. And the FBI kind of realized that, man, 10 millimeter is a little bit of a powerful cartridge. So Smith & Wesson came up with this new kind of solution to the problem. And they trimmed down the casing for the 10 millimeter and created what we now know as 40 Smith & Wesson. That came out in 1990 with the Smith & Wesson model 4006 or 4006. Pretty popular up to this day. Glock jumped on board very quickly and brought forth the Glock 22. The reason why it's so popular is the Glock 22, because the 40 caliber round was trimmed down, it basically has the same dimensions as the 9mm counterpart the Glock 17. So it's easy for companies to take what they had is existing popular 9mm models and rechamber them or make some tweaks to them so that they could handle the 40 Smith & Wesson cartridge. Ultimately, this 40 Glock or the Glock 22 uh, was adopted by several agencies, uh, both federal and local law enforcement, and was very popular throughout the 90s and the 2000s. However, modern day ammunition, hollow points and things like that, a lot of these law enforcement agencies are going back to 9mm because of the ballistic performance. So we're seeing a lot of law enforcement 40s kind of hit the market, but nonetheless, they're great guns, it's a great cartridge, and they're very reliable. So here we have a Glock 22, which is the 40 caliber full-size Dewey Glock. The ones that we got in are Gen 4s, and they feature kind of that bigger magazine release and the uh, double recoil spring here. They do have night sights on these. They're tritium night sights now. Most of them, the gas is kind of starting to burn out here. So they're not as bright or vibrant as they were when they first came out, but they do still work. They also ship with 15 round magazines. It's giving you a pretty solid capacity of a very powerful cartridge. But these are in great condition. The ones that we've seen come in, uh, even though they were issued out to law enforcement, we don't see a lot of holster wear on these. We don't see a lot of grip wear. They look great. And they're just awesome, collectible kind of handguns, or they will be eventually. Uh, but a great piece, awesome caliber. And I just wanted to kind of maybe go a little bit into the history on these, show these off for you guys, see if it's something that maybe meets that need that you're looking for in a new kind of duty sized handgun. We here at Guns.com remain dedicated on the hunt to find more law enforcement trade-in firearms to bring to you guys. Maybe it's something that you're looking for, or something to fit a role or a need that you have in your life. So be sure to keep checking us out. Look at our law enforcement trade-in page. We've got tons of them over there. We're always looking for new models, always refreshing. But thank you so much for taking a little deep dive and checking these out. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. 
and we'll take a look at something different next time.